welcome to this special edition of Decision Point. We want to tell you how grateful we are that you are viewing this station today. We hope that uh, we can bring a blessing to your life. We hope that we can bring some perfection and we can bring some growth into your spiritual life through Jesus Christ. My name is Jerry Escalante. I am part of the staff, part, part of the crew here at a, a, um, Channel 38 KSCE. Christian television station and and we just want to thank you so much for your participation today. We have a very special program. We have uh, some people that are visiting us from out of town to tell you about a magnificent event that is going to be taking place in October of this year in Ciudad Juarez, Mexico. You know, you might ask why are you announcing, why are you talking about an event that is taking place in Juarez. Well, Ciudad Juarez is her sister city, and that is a city that what, whatever it feels, whatever it is going through, El Paso ultimately goes through the same thing. Maybe not in the same scale, and maybe not as far as the violence is concerned, but definitely, spiritually, we are connected. We are connected because there are no borders for Jesus Christ. There are absolutely nothing that is between the people the body of Christ of Ciudad Juarez and the body of Christ of El Paso. And that is what we're doing. This is not a, a civic event. This is not a social event. This is a very important spiritual event. Before we proceed, I just want to say one thing. We are not human beings that are living a spiritual experience, but rather we are spiritual beings that are living a human experience and this human experience affects all of us while we live in this city and in the city of Ciudad Juarez. Let me without uh, further ado introduce to you a gentleman who has been paramount in, in bringing this massive event of evangelism and, and outreach to the people of Ciudad Juarez. With us we have today Mr. Uh, Bo Pilgrim from uh, uh, originally founder of Pilgrim's Pride Corporation. He no longer has it, but he is a founder of that corporation and has been sold. And now his full-time job is dedicating himself to serving the Lord and bringing others into the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Uh, Mr. Pilgrim, Bo, thank you so much for being with us. If you <clears throat> say, uh, give a greeting to our people in El Paso. Yeah, uh, greetings everyone. Uh, we're excited about what's uh, going to happen here in Juarez and El Paso spiritually. Uh, we're interested in winning souls for Christ, uh, not for recognition of ourselves. Uh, we don't need that. Uh, but there's a need for souls to be one in this area. So we're putting our resources behind uh, that uh, opportunity, and we think great things are going to happen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Great things are going to happen because Jesus said that where two or three are gathered in his name, he will be in the midst of us. Right. And that is wonderful. Also, uh, family, I want to introduce to you a gentleman who, who has a, uh, a tremendous testimony that we will not be able to share today. We hope to have him on another occasion so that he can share his testimony. But uh, he is an evangelist that has worked with very many different people, very many different uh, associations, uh, denominations. He, he does not let a denomination be a barrier for his life. He is an evangelist by calling, and, and he has done many, many crusades. And he will be actually heading this crusade in Ciudad Juarez, which we will be giving you a little bit more information. But let me introduce to you a gentleman uh, that visits us with, with a lot of zeal, with, with, with a tremendous fire in his heart to bring the gospel to Ciudad Juarez, a place where it is already being preached, a place where it's already being brought, but maybe not to the intensity and maybe not to the extent of what we are proposing and what this uh, organization is proposing to do in Ciudad Juarez. Mr. Rick Gage, evangelist. Sir, how are you, sir? Good to, good to see you. And if you would please give a greeting to the city of El Paso. Well, Jerry, it's good to be uh, with you, and we're honored to be back in this part of the world. 
Uh, as you have just mentioned, we, uh, and as Bo mentioned, we have a real vision and a heart to reach this valley with the gospel of Christ. I think we're all in agreement that uh, only the gospel can change a man's life. And Amen. that's going to be the focus of this event. I know that we have some 300 plus churches already involved in this uh, uh, endeavor. And we're trusting God for just a, a mighty outpouring of His Spirit during these days. A lot of preparation work still to be done between now and October 4, 5, and 6. But a lot has already been done. And to God be the glory for the great things that He's going to do through this evangelistic campaign. So we thank you for your prayers and your support. And we just kind of an honor to, to, to join hands with God's people in this region of the world. Amen. To do all that we can to reach this valley, and particularly the city of Juarez, Amen. with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Of course, to the gospel of Jesus Christ. And, and uh, folks, i, I got to tell you something, that we are going to ask something of you. We, and, and we need to ask this of you, because the body of Christ ultimately is responsible to take the gospel and to preach it to other people. And, and, and I'm going to use a word that is not used uh, in nice company, but I'm going to use it. We covet your prayers. We ask that you pray with us. We ask that you pray for us, particularly for these two gentlemen, as well as all the others that are organizing this event. Because let me tell you something, things are being stirred up. The spiritual world is being stirred up mm. because there are things that are going to happen, things that are going to change. We will have an event in Ciudad Juarez on the 4th, 5th, and 6th of October. That's this year. This is in a couple, a couple of months from now. It'll be the 4th, the 5th, and the 6th of October. And we are going to have it at the Monumental X in Ciudad Juarez. Many of you may not know what the X is, and, and basically what it is, is it is a monument that was built in Ciudad Juarez, and, and it was built for the purpose uh, of, of showing that, that Ciudad Juarez can come back, and can come back stronger than it ever was before. And now, the gospel of Jesus Christ, the ultimate the most powerful word in the whole universe, the word that stopped the sun, the word that stopped the moon, right in its track in that valley that one day when Joshua was fighting that army, that same power is going to be in Ciudad Juarez. Will you tell us about that, Rick, if you would? Really appreciate what, what is uh, we are expecting, the different events that are going to take place, and, and uh, what we propose to accomplish. Well, as we said, the preparation work has been going on now for several months. Amen. And uh, we were in here, of course, last week working with the leadership for this crusade in Juarez. Uh, we met with the superintendent of the Assembly of God uh, churches in the Juarez region. They represent about 164 churches, I believe it is. It may be, it may, it may be uh, more than 200 churches, but they have agreed to get behind this effort. And... Um, we have just received word that we're going to be able to get into some of the schools to do programs in the schools in front of these teenagers. Uh, we've received word that some of the colleges and even some universities are going to open up their doors for us to go in and do programming Amen. Uh, to the students mm -hmm. in Juarez mm -hmm. through the university system, the college system, and also the, uh, the, the high school, middle school system. So we have a, a large vision. We know that the youth of Juarez is the future of that city as well as the future of their country. And we want to do all that we can to help reach the youth of Juarez and this, uh, uh, throughout this entire region uh, with the gospel of Christ. So big things are in store. A lot of churches are involved. People are praying. Uh, in fact, they're meeting every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. at the mm -hmm. X Plaza venue mm -hmm. where the crusade is going to be held. Mm -hmm. Every Sunday evening at 6 p.m., mm -hmm. people are coming together and they're praying for this crusade. They're praying for a move of God Amen. to come on this city of Juarez, Mexico. Mm -hmm. I talked to some uh, leaders last week, and uh, every morning at 4 a.m., they're getting up and they're praying. So there's pockets of prayer. There's people coming together. And they're believing God for a move of God, for a revival to come to the city of Juarez. And uh, it, it was Henry Blackaby who founded the, the work Experiencing God who once said, find where God is working 
and join him. Amen. And we believe that God is doing a great work in Juarez, Mexico. We want to join God in this effort and pull all the resources and all the Bible-believing believers across this valley to help us reach the souls of lost men, uh, lost women, boys and girls, and do all that we can together mm -hmm. in unity mm -hmm. for the cause of Christ. Amen. That's our passion. That's our goal. That's our vision. Amen. You, you know, Rick, something that is very interesting is that this venue, the X, it's called the X, and it is a, a brand new venue. As a matter of fact, it was just inaugurated recently uh, with with, um, with a lot of fanfare and, and the whole city of Juarez was, you know, behind that. And, and now we are using that venue we are using that monument that that was perhaps placed for cultural reasons to reach the people of Ciudad Juarez but not only Ciudad Juarez El Paso Las Cruces and all the surrounding areas with the word and the gospel of Amen. Jesus Christ uh, uh, I, I am sure that that it, it can at point be overwhelming when you think about it, uh, about the number of people that, that we will be able to reach uh, when we think about the number of people that need to be reached. Yes. Uh, and it can be overwhelming, but, but I know that through prayer and fasting, mm. uh, uh, we will be ready to meet that challenge. And I appreciate you challenging your, challenging your view, viewing audience to really pray for this effort because you and I both know, we all know that the, mm. the, the greatest thing we can do for this event is to pray for it. Absolutely. And pray for the, the, the anointing of God to be on the event, for the favor of God to be on this event. Uh, I, I think I told you recently the three greatest things we can do for an event like this is number one, pray. Pray. Number two, pray. And number three, pray. Right. So I pray that the viewing audience of this station will really seriously and passionately pray for this event. Amen. I mean, Amen. Because we're serious about God touching this city. Amen. We're serious about God touching this valley for Christ. Amen. And we just want to partner with the family of God to impact this region with the gospel of Christ. And, 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 and this is not going to be the, the, the end all. I mean, there's still going to be work to be done after this three-night crusade is over with. Absolutely. But this can be a catalyst Absolutely. To, for, for God to continue to do a great work for the glory of God. And, and, and we want to just don't come in here and, and do a three-night event and then leave town. We want to continue to disciple these believers, work with these churches, and come back in here on a regular basis to help strengthen the body of Christ absolutely. in Juarez, Mexico. Sure, absolutely. And, and really uh, what we need to... Uh, keep in mind and be very mindful is that what we want to do is we want to make sure that we channel these people that come and receive Christ for the first time in their lives and for those who read it, rededicate their lives to make sure that they get involved in a church. It, it is of the utmost importance in my opinion, yes. gentlemen, yeah. that if we receive Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we need to become a part of a church because we become the church the moment we receive Amen. them. Yeah. And, so, and Somebody yes. once said, it's one thing to save the soul, but it's another thing to save the life. There you go. And once yes. the soul's been redeemed, yes. now we want to save the life and disciple that life to become a great warrior, an ambassador for mm -hmm. the cause of Christ to help the vision of that local church that they get plugged into continue to reach out and reach their city and this world for Christ. Amen. Amen. Um, mm -hmm. Bo, you you uh, you've been a businessman all your life. Uh, we talked a little bit earlier, and again, you are the founder of Pilgrim Sprite Corporation, and, and that is a, a major food uh, distribution uh, company that you prepare food and raw food, and and just just you're all over the country. How many countries are you act were you actually involved in? Oh, we, as far as countries that we're involved in is three different countries, uh, U.S., Mexico, and Puerto Rico. Okay. Uh, we are involved in, uh, or the company is involved in, over 100 cities okay. and 20 states mm -hmm. in, in the U.S. Okay. So uh, we uh, grew to uh, 55,000 employees. Uh, we did millions a day in sales we ended up in uh, uh, what 2008 we did uh, eight and a half billion in sales mm -hmm. and in one year we grew 
40, uh, 40 million chickens uh, weekly. Uh, and it become a, a big company, uh, something beyond my imagination. Right, from the beginning. But, uh, sure. I, t I told Jesus Christ when I left home at 10 years of age and moved in with my grandmother with nine pigs and no money, and they didn't have any money. If I ever amounted to anything, I'd always give him credit for everything. So I am still working towards that goal in my life as never forgetting what he's done for me and what I need to do for him. Amen. Yeah. And, and Bo, the reason I, I mentioned uh, the corporation is because uh, I wanted to point out the fact that, that you are a person with vast uh, business knowledge. You have a tremendous amount of understanding of how the market works. But nevertheless, something moved in your heart in such a way, such a fashion that, that it is your brainchild. It, it is that which has grown in your heart to be done here in Ciudad Juarez. You are the one who selected to that's what is. The Lord placed that in your heart and you responded to that calling, sir. Well, uh, I traveled a lot in Mexico back in uh, 1970 and 1980. I began to look at buying some uh, operations and we ended up buying five or six different uh, operations, chicken operations, and because we could see that uh, uh, Mexico was paying th the same price for chicken then that they paid for beef. Mm. And that was unheard of in right. the U.S. because chicken was always generally 25 percent of the cost of beef. So we started out there probably with uh, 600,000 chickens a week, uh, and today uh, they're uh, uh, growing and marketing 2,700,000 oh, wow. uh, a week, and yeah. that 700,000 uh, is live chickens that's being bought in the market, mm -hmm. taken home because they don't have refrigeration right. and kept in the backyard for waiting on Sunday dinner sure. or something. Sure. But uh, the uh, two million chickens uh, a week has brought the uh, price of chicken down much, mm -hmm. much less than the price of beef. Yeah, and makes it re reachable for the average citizen to be able to consume that chicken. That's right. And, and good chicken at that. Yeah. yeah. Bo, uh, I, you know, I, I got to tell you, this endeavor that, that we're planning, that we're praying for, and that we're asking our audience to pray for, and uh, just for good measure, why don't we pray a little bit more, you know? Okay. Uh, but, uh, Bo, uh, this endeavor that, that the Lord placed in your heart to come to Ciudad Juarez because you said that there was a need. You you know that there is a need and where the need is, someone 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 needs to fill that need. That's right. But yeah. but how did, did it come to your heart that it was you who had to fill that fill that well, need, sir? Uh, I sent a, a point guy out here who was uh, a local. Uh, um, Mexican uh, preacher that I had sent to uh, San Antonio many years ago. He got his license to preach and he came back to uh, um, Mount Pleasant, Pittsburgh, Texas there and uh, he uh, was a pastor of a church for a number of years. Then um, uh, he decided to go into the construction business, but he didn't get the satisfaction that he was looking from. Uh, 
right. uh, from the construction business, and he came to me and he said he wanted to get back into winning souls. And I says, okay, go out and find your opportunity and come back and let's talk about it. And so he came in and he said he wanted to go to El Paso and Juarez. And I says uh, to him, are you sure you want to go to <laughs> Juarez? And yes, that's, that's where he wanted to go. And I says, well, you go. And uh, you find out uh, the opportunities and I'll sponsor you to do point activities. Sure. There, so this guy here, Rick Gage, was uh, carrying on a crusade in our little town mm -hmm. at at that time, and uh, I heard this uh, person who is uh, Jose Mancera asked Rick, would he go to um, Juarez with his crusade and. Rick says, yes, <laughs> uh, we go to into all nations with, with it. Uh, Rick had been to Russia and other Central America and other places, so he was up to the challenge just by uh, being invited. Uh, so this is where, where it developed from, from there. Uh, I put uh, Jose out here uh, f f uh, paying him and paying his expenses and paying uh, whatever money was needed sure. for these point activities mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for a number of months. Mm -hmm. And it has developed into something uh, huge. And, and I don't want the money to stand in the way of the opportunity. So the one thing I can do if there's a need and uh, well, you have the resources for, for this neighbor in need, you're supposed to move forward Amen. and satisfy that need. And that's what we're Amen. doing Amen. here. Amen. It's not about us. Right. It's about uh, Jesus Christ Jesus. and the gospel. And, and, and there is one thing, Bo. There is there is one thing, and and one thing only. It's a, this is a singular issue. Mm -hmm. It truly is based on our conversations that we have had. I can see that singular is, issue as being one. Now, what is your reason, your purpose for wanting to do this? So you mentioned this to me at the beginning, and and I don't want to put words in your mouth, but you mentioned two words: salvation and rededication. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what it's all about. That's our responsibility. We've uh, accepted God's free gift of salvation and once we do that, we have the responsibility of telling others Amen. about it. So Amen. that's what we why we're here in El Paso and war is to tell other people about the gospel. Amen. Yeah. Rick what are we expecting in, in terms of uh, souls, in terms of, uh, of a response? What are we expecting? What are we really believing and praying for? Well, we're just praying for a move of God. We're praying for revival to come to the hearts of God's people. And we're praying for a spiritual awakening to come to the city of Juarez to reach the lost, the unsaved. And a very high percentage of Juarez, Mexico is unsaved. Amen. And so we're praying for a move of God to come on this city that will uh, uh, continue to unite the churches, strengthen the churches, but to redeem the souls of lost men and women and boys and girls that live in a city of 1.7 million people. So as I said a while ago, this three-night crusade is not going to be an end-all. It's going to be a catalyst Absolutely. to start great things uh, that's still ahead for the city of Juarez, Mexico. But we are willing to come in here and do as much groundwork as we can and to uh, cultivate, uh, to win as many lost souls for Christ as we can and, and, and then point them back into the local churches Amen. where they can be discipled, where they can grow and become real ambassadors for the cause of Christ. Amen. 
And it's uh, amazing that you mention ambassadors because really, family, whenever anyone who is a member of the body of Christ, if you profess to be a believer, if you profess to be a child of God, whenever any one of us, and that means any one of us, that includes Billy Graham, that includes any person that you can think of that is an ambassador of Christ according to 2 Corinthians. It is you who's actually doing this event. It is you who is taking the word of God to Ciudad Juarez. It is you as a child of God who can make this happen. The word of God tells us how lovely on the mountain are the feet of them mm. who brings good news. News of peace, news of joy, and news of salvation. And how can they go if we do not send them? And how can we send them so that they can hear? And, you know, just know that you're a part of it. We, we want everybody to be a part of it. And even when they join us as prayer partners, Rick, Bo, when they join us as prayer partners, they are doing their part. And they're doing more than their part because that prayer is powerful. And that prayer will make things happen. I'm believing. I'm, I'm going to, you know, state this on the air. I'm believing that this will be an event that once it's over, see, that's what is... The whole city itself will not be able to contain it, and it'll spread like wildfire in other places. The scripture declares in Proverbs 11.30, He who wins souls is wise. Yes. And we cannot think of anything that's more dear to the heart of God than the salvation of sinners. And, that, and, and we've said from day one, when we started meeting with the, the spiritual leaders here in Juarez, we said from day one, there's no hidden agenda. Amen. This event is about reaching lost souls for Christ. This Amen. is not a Christian pep rally. No, absolutely not. This is not. an event to reach the unsaved. Amen. And we need the church, the body of Christ, to bring their lost friends to that venue every single night. 80% of those who make a decision for Christ in an event like this, somebody brought them to the venue. That's right. And so that's the reason why we want the family of God in this valley region to be praying for this event Amen. and to get their lost friends, their co-workers, uh, their family members who have not yet committed their lives to Christ. Right. We need to get them to that venue because every night we believe if we can get the lost there, chances are very high. Amen. They're going to get saved. Amen. Gentlemen, want to thank both of you very much for being with us. Really want, want to let you know that Channel 38 supports Channel 38 is behind you, uh, along with our viewers. And, and uh, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, this special edition of Decision Point, thank you. And we believe in Christ with you. Amen.